So if you're struggling going into school or work on a Monday, then you need to watch this video because in today's video, guys, we're actually talking about yesterday and why it really doesn't matter. So let's get into it after this intro. Alright guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your journey with less stress. Now, today is another episode in our Monday motivation video where I'm all about helping you come in with a little bit more jazz on your Mondays as much as you have when you leave on those Fridays. And today's concept is about how you should stop letting yesterday take up too much of today. And it's such a profound concept and it's so common in the medical community, it deserves a video. And it's the reason is, is that we have so many opportunities to fail. And we often do fail. Grades don't work out. Our board scores may not be as high as we want them to be. We may not get accepted to the schools or programs of our choice. Our evaluations may not work out. Our interactions with people don't go as well as we'd like. Whatever it may be, we have many instances for failures and the most common response unfortunately is that we dwell on them you know but we unfortunately will dwell on them today as well as tomorrow throughout the weekend until we have a little bit of a hint of success and then we go again through the hamster wheel of success and failures but the way you avoid it guys is realizing that yesterday is only temporary obviously and you can't let it take too much of today now it's easier said than done so in this video i want to give you some quick concepts so you can take with you to make sure that yesterday is never a majority of today's progress. Now, the first thing you need to understand to avoid yesterday's failures and kind of mishaps to take up too much time of today is to be future driven. You can't continue to move forward if you're always living in the past. Sure, you need to have time to mourn, to feel disappointed, to kind of wonder what if, but then you have to also take the steps to go forward. So if you are somebody who maybe didn't do well in step one, didn't get that interview you wanted, the next question you have to ask is how can I be lesson driven? I've made a video of how I love failures because failures help me get to my success quicker. Every time I fail, my goal is not to ponder on that failure. It's to ponder on a lesson of what led to that failure because the next time I have the opportunity, I can ideally be successful. So yesterday, if yesterday wasn't ideal for you, you need to say, what was the lesson? I need to be lesson driven. I need to be future driven. And what steps can I take to get to the most important concept, which is ownership time. And that's to say, you know what? Yesterday didn't go well. That's fair. I admit it. But today, today, damn it, is my day. And sometimes we need to be able to remind ourselves that, uh, especially if you've had mishap after mishap, things just not go your way and you feel like you're just not made for medicine, you're not made for school, work is just not made for you, you start to put the blame on you. But today, today is you. You need to own today, and you need to remember that yesterday's failures are only our stepping stones to help you get to the success. And you can get to the success maybe today, but you have to stop dwelling on yesterday. So remember, stop letting yesterday take too much of today. Understand the lessons, understand the failures, but make sure that you are quickly transitioning into saying, what was the lesson? How can I take those steps and progress to my next goal? You know, if your goal of getting a high step one did pan out, there's honestly not much you can do about it, but you can make sure that your step two score is high. You can make sure that the rest of your application doesn't have any red marks. Those are things that you can quickly adjust and pivot to make the right steps. That way you can get that same success that you wanted the whole time. But hopefully that makes sense, guys. Remember the three concepts of being future driven, of being lesson driven, and understanding it's your ownership time um, to be able to make sure that yesterday is not too much of a burden. Um, and hopefully this video is helpful for any of you guys struggling. I understand that medical school and medicine in general is tough. I've been there. And there's a lot of you guys that may find yourself in a ditch and I can't act like it's gonna be easy to get out of it. But if this video helps any of you guys that are in that ditch, feeling like you're um, having more valleys and hills, then hopefully this video helped you out. So if you want more, just make sure you comment down below. Um, and any resources that I have to help your medical journey a little bit easier, um, especially free guides and free courses will be linked down below. But if you enjoyed this video, all I ask for in return is just by showing your support by smashing like smashing that like button until your computer breaks. Don't do that. Um, but then also hitting the subscribe button as well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends.